In our school, everyone values the work they are doing, whether it is teachers who are on a mission of rebranding teaching, or it is the students whose individual stories are what we go for. It's all about building relationships, nurturing relationships. Our school is all about these individual stories of gentle prodding, encouraging, empathy building, encouragement to all kind of students. And, and that's what has been defining the culture of the school. Our journey with technology actually started from this very room. In fact, this very spot. I remember back in 2003, I learnt Microsoft Word myself in order to take a session with the teachers. In 2011, when we started looking for uh, open source software which could help us, and I remember telling my teachers that, okay, we're going to all together learn about Google Drive, and today the entire school is running on Google Drive. We've always been a technology-driven school, but we use technology not for the frill value, but because it serves some end, some purpose for us. You know, the bond between the teacher and the student has become that much stronger because this was a situation where the teachers were nervous about using new technology and they were hesitant to make mistakes in front of the students. And then when students came to their help and, you know, there was a kind of a role reversal that happened and the bond that was you know, developed between the teacher and the taught became that much stronger. So to my mind, technology is not something that breaks human relationships or dehumanizes education. It's something that actually builds a stronger connection between the teacher and the taught. Okay, how many of you have watched the video of menstruation which I sent yesterday? Something I'm passionate about is empowering my children with the freedom to learn from the resources of their own world. That is technology. We at RN Pradhar follow multiple strategies to instill curiosity and passion amongst our students. I always used to wonder, am I able to meet the needs of all my students? Do I have enough time in the classroom to sit one-on-one -on -one with them and problem solve? Very soon, I started filming my content, my lectures, my direct instructions, and making it available to my children prior to the class meetings making a way more for the elaborate discussions in mathematics. They are in charge of their own learning. By not giving them ready-made solutions, they are actually now finding the answers on their own. By working collaboratively on the projects, they are able to find out the resources, evaluate the sources, and work in teams appreciating each other's work. All economies in the world right now are closed economies or open economies. When we came to 12, Lakshmi Ma'am had to leave Mumbai and go all the way to Chennai and that seemed like we missed out on a huge chunk of valuable education because she was so good but I think our school learned to overcome boundaries. It came up with a solution which was Skype and I think it's been a huge breakthrough. The fact that she's not physically present here does not bother us and we're still getting to learn from her. One of the fundamental things that our school believes in very strongly is helping our kids prepare themselves to face the 21st century. So while we pay a lot of attention to academics, co-curriculars, we also believe in giving them all the required skills and exposures that they need to face a life once they get out of the safety haven of this school. Leadership, you know, it's just not a management concept that they learn in uh, graduation or in business school. It helps you build an overall personality and differentiates you in the long run. One in a series of many things that I fondly look back upon was my first ever internship. We want to stay away from exams but not from school. So what do we do? So our school says, come and get exposed to the administrative side of your school and help out in developing new mechanisms and initiatives for the school. So we had different departments in which each of us led one individually and uh, we took up responsibilities. But then after this internship, I was like more aware of the responsibilities people take up over here and how much work goes into it, how much uh, teamwork goes into it basically. Everyone working together as, a, as, a, as, a, as an organ and, and making it work efficiently. So that's what I learned. I learned how to take responsibilities and lead and come out successful there. Yeah. Uh, everyone at the school believes everyone should be aware of the community that we have and not live like we're the only people in the world living. Mossies and Bhaiya work for us so much.
much and uh, we never do anything for them. फिर हमने आपके लिए एक सरप्राइज प्लान किया है तो हम चाहते हैं कि आप आए We really just want everyone to be aware of what they're doing and how their actions affect the other other human being other living beings. This was about thanking the people who who work with you. Uh but we also do about environmental awareness. We also do about self awareness because that also is empathy. We want children to understand that their every action matters. That the smallest thing that they do can have the biggest effect. And of course we want them to understand even the positive side of this that because their actions do matter they can bring about a big change they can get into a group they can get into a team they can they can change whatever they want to